<clears throat> I don't think I was I don't think I was disturbing anybody here I was just right here and um, I feel like I uh, you know exposed the truth here to a lot of people entering or visiting Egan High School yeah, I get that. Do you yeah. think this type of signage in that in front of a high school in the morning is the best way to convey your message? I believe it's one of the I believe it's a good way because you know these uh, typically the students attending this school are <coughs> uh, a lot of them can still be finding out the truth or they may still be looking for answers and public schools mainly teach that abortion is okay and so I, I'm here advocating for the children that are conceived that because according to God life begins at conception and really and of course the message of Jesus Christ I believe uh, I believe everybody needs to know about Jesus Christ and, and I, I understand your message completely but to sit outside a high school with pictures of a fetus and call a girl that maybe made a mistake and is pregnant now and maybe doesn't know what to do and she's scared but calling her a murderer do you think that conveys Christ's message? Well, it's the it's really the hard truth. And and the the message of this sign here is um, like uh, like Jesus Christ can forgive you. And <clears throat> like I I believe that like when a woman <clears throat> decides to, you know, maybe she had she had sex outside of marriage, she's not quite ready to have a baby but according to her circumstances it's easy to justify abortion in that in that instance um, however it is the consequence of having sexual relations with a man uh, you know you get you get a child and so um, and so this is this uh, sign is basically explaining to trust God with your life you don't have to murder your baby it, even when it's tough to it's it's a lot of the times it's tough to make the right decision to keep the baby and either to give it to someone who can care for it or take care of it yourself. And, and in, according to God, uh, abortions are murder because it destroys the life of, an, of a child made in the image of God. And, and I believe we need, more, we need more exposure to this Holocaust. And I, I understand what you're trying to go, but here's my question for you. Sitting outside a high school with teenagers. Right. Teenagers right. are very prone to peer pressure and things like that. That's right, yeah. Uh, they're very emotional age in their life. I can answer it, yeah. Uh, now sitting outside and saying a girl that may be struggling with an issue because maybe she made a mistake or whatever it is, but now putting the added pressure in pictures of you now, you're now committing murder, and you're putting that under the title of uh, this is God's forgiveness. Do you think you're you're implying the right message, or do you think you're conveying the message that you're actually trying to put out there, versus maybe a sign that says God loves you no matter what your decisions are? Okay. So now you're maybe I understand you're coming from a good place. Maybe this is what your intent to do, uh, but. I think you're going to turn more people off than actually convey the message that you're trying to convey. I believe that the the heartbreak of and, and I've read stories about this, the heartbreak of a woman having an abortion. It, it's it's like the the destroying of their their little child inside of them, and I believe that can put a stain. Would you would you like a gospel tract? No. Okay. Um, and um, and I, I've seen the heartbreak of uh, I've I've read stories of heart heartbroken women who made the decision to have an abortion, like it's a it's a horrible decision and it's um, and it's it's tough. It, it, I'll never know the scenario of being pregnant with a child, but but I could have and, and even even if I were to fornicate with a woman and she became pregnant and then she killed her baby which is also my my baby because I made it um, I, I would be heartbroken in that circumstance as well 
And I believe more men and women need to stand up for their children. Um, like even if they're attending high school, it's it's not easy to care for a little child. I understand that. And I I would take take it from here that you're out here trying to express uh, the feelings of God's love and forgiveness. Correct? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because. Uh, now, do you think this signage at this location? is expressing that or are we going to he who's without sin cast the first stone kind of looks like you're throwing stones right now well uh, in that in that in that passage in john chapter 8 the i believe the the pharisees they wanted to stone that woman because they they said oh she committed adultery let's let's stone her that's basically an, an, an act of an act of judgment like uh like when the judge says, I sentence you to a certain amount of years in jail. And it's like they were doing that. I'm not, I'm not trying to condemn these women. I'm not trying to condemn them. Yeah, but the sign that you're putting out there kind of shows it that way. So, and that's why I go back to you. You think you're conveying the message that you're trying to convey? I, I, I'm, I'm doing, I'm trying my best. I'm trying, I'm trying my best to, I, at the very least, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stand up for these little children, and if these, it's it is the truth. It's the truth about abortion. Um, and do you think sitting outside of a high school versus a Planned Parenthood clinic would have a greater impact? Well, Planned Parenthood clinic is where most of the abortions happen. Yeah, that's right. They don't really happen at the high schools. Right, but they can learn that abortion is okay in the first place, right here. Like these are the yeah, the. You can't affect the so, again, I yeah. go back to the message that you're conveying here. Are you actually conveying the message that you're trying to convey? Or are you turning people off? Well, if, uh, if, you're, if I'm quote-unquote turning people off, that means, well, their, their heart isn't soft to the truth well, anyway. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what I'm asking this question, because I didn't just drop by and find here and someone comes off you. People called me to come talk to you. Yeah, that's true. You know? So you, you're already conveying a message that is angering people right now. And for whatever yeah, reason, I understand maybe they're that. struggling with their own faith or whatever it is, but you're already, what you're trying to do is already backfiring for the public calling the police on you. I know most, a lot of people probably are not happy seeing me here. And the truth is, the world is a, the world is a very sinful place. And my, my goal is to it really is to to agitate people to say i mean i want to bring awareness to this to this problem in our society most people is education do you think you're going about it in the most effective way well i uh, i believe it's a i believe it's a very effective way the the words are very big and the the images you're are clear attention but are you just drawing attention <laughs> or are you actually drawing education I believe this is. Really I believe this is educational because, the, because, I I don't know how many people see a picture of an aborted fetus or what what abortion looks like, and I'm, I'm a, it's a public service announcement, and a lot of people want to deny that it is murder and it is, it is the, the taking of an innocent human life, and so. I just, I want people to look at it that way. <clears throat> I want people to look at it that way. He's at 8 o'clock. 20 minutes until 8 o'clock. Uh, 
Uh, you, oh, so you may not think I'm do, going about it the best way. Uh, you, you suggested Planned Parenthood. I and just I, asked you a question. Yeah, yeah, if I was going about it the best way, like educating people. I asked you if you thought you were going about it the best way, and what you think? Are you just by I think it was. I think it. I think this is a very good way. All right. Well, where we're at right now is I'm digging up the ordinance uh, because Egan actually has an ordinance when it comes to signages on the right of way, uh, and your right? or, your signs may be a big is that right? too big for the ordinance for being on the right of way for signs. So interesting. If interesting. If it is, then you're going to have to leave and go with uh, signs that are a at smaller? the right appropriate sign. But I'm getting the, the dimensions up on our ordinance right now. So. You know, I I've never really been aware of an ordinance like that before. Wow. I. <laughs> that's See, that's interesting. I, I don't, I don't think I've heard about that before. And I understand yeah. that you're trying to go for a freedom of speech lawsuit or whatever you're trying to go for. Yeah. That's fine. Because. You can record me all you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been nothing yeah. but polite and respectful for you, and I've just posed questions to you. I've never told you to get out. I've never told you to do anything. I do have concerns because you're on somebody's property, but I haven't addressed that yet. Okay. I I thought this was a sidewalk. I, I thought it was a public... There's no sidewalk on this side. There's sidewalk on that side. So, okay. So, but like I said, I haven't, I haven't told you to leave. I haven't said you're yeah. writing the law. That's true. I have concerns that your signs might be in violation of our ordinance, and that's why we're digging up the size dimensions right now. Okay. And I, and I, to be honest with you, I have concerns about the way you're trying to convey your message. I don't think your message is wrong. I think you, you're, the way you're doing it and the location you're doing it is purposely for a reaction for whatever it is lawsuit-wise or First Amendment-wise, whatever your intent is. I think your message is getting lost by the way you're trying to convey it. That's my personal opinion. Okay. Oh, what would your would do you, do you have a suggestion how I could do it better? Uh, if you're trying to convey, uh, like you said before, uh, Christ's love and that uh, abortion is murder and stuff like that, I I would look at if if that's what you truly believe and you're into the gospel of Christ and all that, I would look at his uh, messages of love and forgiveness and try to convey that more than calling people murderers. That's my thought. Um, but yeah. once we'll figure out if your signs are actually in violation of the ordinance, we'll figure out from there. If you're not, you're not. But I believe the signs are too big for the ordinance. On the okay. Wall. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. If you could let me know either way, that'd be great. Hello. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So, what brought you to this corner this day out of any other day? Well, well, uh, basically, I just like bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ into conflict with our culture. I believe our culture is very ungodly. I just turn on the news. I just take a peek. Uh, I mean, I went to public schools too. I went to like the South, and uh, I, public schools generally teach that that fornication is okay. It's just, just, uh, just be sure to get consent and. Uh, use protection and um, and uh, I, I believe that's wrong I uh, God says that any sex outside of marriage is fornication uh, that's and and fornicators don't have inheritance in heaven and uh, um, I love uh, I love Jesus Christ and I believe I'm doing my doing my best to obey him and he says uh, be salt and light in a world be salt and light in the world. <clears throat> and and if I and if I uh, obey Jesus and I preach the gospel, then then uh, people will, he warns me that people will hate me for it. And that's just a that's just a a natural thing that will happen um, for for preaching the gospel to a, a world that loves their sin. And, and abortion is a sin that people love. I get that. How is this preaching the gospel? Um, well, it's like, it says, uh, you know, Christ died for your sins, and um, and the, the, the gospel is on that, the gospel is on the website of abolishhumanabortion.com. Um, the website you can't see? Yeah, I, well, I mean, 
again, I, 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 I go back to, I think it is also be coming from the right place, but your message is getting lost on your delivery. I think so too. It could, it could be, it could be. You know what? I'm still learning. I may not be going about it like the, the best, the best way possible. I mean, um, but the thing is like, the point is I'm trying to do it and many times, many times like most of my life I would just be staying at home, not trying to engage the community and uh, yeah, it's, it is tough. Um, uh, Christ died for your sins, you don't have to murder your baby to cover them up and and well, I just, I, I really just, I, I, I pray you that my signs. Oh, you're trying to preach the gospel. What do you think would go over better? A sign that says God died for your sins and loves you, or a picture of a, an aborted fetus and calling it murder. Well, when it comes to just preaching the gospel, as you said, you're trying to do. Okay, right, and. Okay, so the, the other side of this sign here says abortion is murder. You, forgiveness for murder can be found in Jesus Christ alone. And, and it's tough. What's your name? Um, it, do I need to provide you my name? Yeah, you do. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, my name's, well, my name's Jeff. My name's Jeff. Okay, and Jeff. This is the thing. According to the, our ordinance, if you're going to do a, some type of a solicitation or any kind of a public, you have to get a permit from the city first. A permit, okay. Okay, so that's what I'm, I was looking it up, okay. So technically, that the, sometimes they have a ordinance and uh, how big the signs are as well. So if you don't have any permit to uh, advertise, solicit anything like that in public right away, you have to get a permission from the city to get it, okay. So that's uh, what I'm just telling you. That's how I have to look it up. So I should get that next time. I, I should get a yeah, permit. Yeah, you know that. You know, you know what? I am not agreeing or disagreeing with what you're doing, Jeff. Think about it this: you have a freedom of your speech, and you can do whatever you want here. But I just want to make sure that you're doing it properly, and that's what we're doing. Okay? And I think Jeff would agree. The whole time I've been talking to you, I never told him that he had to leave. That what he was doing was bad or anything like that. So, We've had a discussion yeah. about your message. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, message that you want to do is that you want to say you don't want to contradict what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? By, you know what? Some people get you making people upset and message that you're delivering. That's up to you. That's your right to do that. So many people okay. have driven by here. They may have soft hearts. Some people may have had may have been soft to my message. Others may have been not open to the truth. So Jeff, I'll tell you, Jeff, let me see that piece of paper. Well, that that like, your literature you've been asking out. I haven't. It? It's a gospel tract. Yeah, it's a gospel tract. So, well, Jeff, okay. until you get your permit, you're gonna have to vacate the book, the right away. Okay. And so, then you're gonna have to abide by the signs, the city's code when it comes to signs. You know what? So all you need to do, do is yep. go. You go, need to go to the city. Uh, the city, city hall. hall right yep. up at 3830 Pilot. The Egan Road. City Hall. You can yeah. go into City Hall. You can make application for your solicitation permit there. Okay. Thank you. Makes sense. Yep. Okay. Okay. Take care, Jeff. Thank you. Praise God. Okay, so I. Um, um, no, I I don't have any questions. Um, you know, thank you for coming out and talking to me.